time now for this. <laughs> yeah, it's time for a brand new feature, Deal or No Deal, based on the TV show. Oh, yeah, Deal or No Deal. Um, since we're joined in the studio by a former contestant of Celebrity Deal or No Deal, Ollie Murs, we're going to have a little game ourselves. We're going to open up a box and see what the player is inside. And superstar singer Ollie Murs and former England striker sat to my right, Darren Bent, will tell us whether they should be looking for a deal away from the club or whether they should say no deal and stay. Okay, hopefully this Love is better this game. than Sounds great. the time that you were on Deal or No Deal <laughs> as a superstar where you ended up winning... No, no, no you, you missed the point. I've did yeah. it twice. Yeah, but the second time, oh, when you were playing time. for charity. Oh, yeah, for charity. I won, yeah. I won 50p, yeah. For charity? Yeah, it was awful. Yeah. What, what charity was that? No, I ended up donating five grand of my own oh, money nice. afterwards because I felt so awful. I said, I'm so sorry. Uh, Can I ask, when you get to 50p, do you go, deal? When the banker phoned and they offered you 50p, no, do you I, go, I, I, no, I well, went, that's money, I, I can't is. remember, but I'm sure I went straight to the end with the, you, know, you have your last box or something. Honestly, it was awful. I, in Noel Edmonds words, when we did the original one in 20, 20, 2007, he said that it was the worst run of boxes he's ever seen in the history of the show. That was what he said. 50p is bad, isn't it? Bad, bad, 10 isn't it? pounds was awful. 10 pounds is awful. 10 pounds, 50 Because I turned two. down, I turned on the show on, on the, the first game that I played, um, you know, if you watch Deal or No Deal, it's a great game. They've obviously just come back on ITV. Mm. And um, I had, you know, you had all the blue boxes, didn't you, and the red boxes, and all the red, all the red numbers, sorry, and the blue numbers. And I'd, I'd, I'd got rid of all the blue numbers. I'd just been offered like £22,500. I was like, no deal. Got all the reds, didn't I? And then literally the next boxes were a quarter of a million, 100 grand, 50 grand, 75 grand. The next offer was, I think, 300 quid or something. <laughs> I was like, oh. how'd you go from that to that? Who am anyway. I going on this? Who am I going on this program? We should get on it, you and I. We should get on you it. Should, you should. You used to. You argue too much. You couldn't do it together. You, you started to. it. <laughs> right. First up, let's start with this man. It's Sancho. He turns. He drags it back. He shoots. He scores. We're talking about Jaden Sancho. Okay. Right. Yeah. I don't know if you got that from the piece of audio we cleverly put together. <laughs> what, what do you make of how Eric Ten Hag has managed the Sancho situation? I think it's been fine. Do you say, I say that and he has a pop at me. Well, I tell you what, I was actually listening to a show a few weeks back and I think one of you said, it might have been Bentley or someone said, um, no no other manager would ever do that. No one ever manager would ever come out and say that. Actually, last season, Pep Guardiola came out and basically said to the press that Calvin Phillips isn't playing right now because he's overweight. And, it, and I remember the next game was the City game at Old Trafford. And all the United fans were singing oh. all the chants and you can imagine what they were saying. And I think that for Calvin Phillips as a professional football player, he didn't say anything, didn't come out. They did try to do an interview with him and he said, no, I get it. I've got to work harder. I've got to get myself back into the team. So I feel like with the Sancho situation, I, th I feel that Eric, if you watch the clip, he says something very on it. He just said, yeah, he wasn't in the squad because we didn't think he trained right. And then the press of obviously it's Manchester United have blown it up. So I think he did. I think Sancho's dealt with it poorly. Yeah. If an offer came in, and I'll put an offer to you in a moment. If an offer came in, would you sell him if you were in charge of Man United, or would you yeah. wait? To, you would. I think because it's dragged on so much. I think if he'd have come out after that international break and said, "Look, you know what, Eric, I've made a mistake." Oh, oh. hold on. Oh, that's good. That's the banker. Jesus. Let me just pick the phone up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's only Murs, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can't get rid of Benny. He's here for, to stay. All right, okay. Uh, so the amount of money that uh, I can offer you to sell Jaden Sancho, mm -hmm. would you sell Jaden Sancho if a deal came in for £60 million? Pounds? Yes. Deal. You would? I would. You'd sell him for £60 million? I would. Okay. I would, yeah. All right. What about you, Benny? What are you thinking? Uh, hold on. Phone might ring for Benny, actually. No. Uh, oh, hold on. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I know. There's nothing I can do about it. With Darren Ambrose. Mm. Well, Cundy. I used to work with Cundy anyway. Right. Okay. Uh, I can't tell you what he said. Uh, let's move on to this player. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the area, and it's put on a plate for Anthony, who strikes Manchester United into the league. Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony. I mean, the phone might ring now. It won't. Uh, what have you made of? I I think Anthony last season, first season in the Premier League, you know, it's a new league, new language. It's a new, env new environment for him. 
So last season, I thought, you know what? It's not a bad first season. It wasn't great. This season, he shouldn't be playing. He's going through stuff personally that he shouldn't be dealing with. I don't think he should be anywhere near the first team. I think he should be away from it. I think he should be out of the side. Because his head's not in the... His head's not Get right. your private life sorted out. Uh, personally, yeah. I think that you could see... Listen, it's all beyond... Everyone's, everyone's, you know, he's a talented footballer. H- has he got what's needed for him to... I think with the right... I think, I think he could be what I saw recently. I think uh, Gary Neville mentioned it. I think he could be our Mares. He could be that type of player for wow. us. I think he's the type of player that he should be looking at. Mm-hmm. But um, he's not. He, he shouldn't be in the team. Oh, hold on one second. Sorry, Ollie. Yeah. Yes, Ollie. I've just told you, Ollie Mers. Yeah, I think Benny's on contract. I can't get rid of him. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll ask him. All right. Um, we paid eighty-six million pounds for him. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Four pound? No, I'm joking. Um, the offer's coming for fifty-seven million pounds. Would you sell him? <laughs> if you're going on current form, you would. But I, 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 I believe he has the potential. So actually, you know what? I'm going to say I'm thinking about the offer. Yeah. But no deal. I still think there's potential there. I think he's got something to offer. Okay. All right. After he's dealt with everything personally that he's doing. So it's a no deal? Yeah, no deal. Okay. I think the phone's going to ring one more last time, actually. I think. Oh, it is. It's a surprise. Gee, it's so loud. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. Right. Yeah. Wrong number. Uh, more from Molly Mars <laughs> down there right after this. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.